Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as the title says, what we're gonna be doing today is trying to connect my Android aftermarket unit to the factory mic on my Avalon. If you didn't know, when you do these Android upgrades, you kind of get stuck with their mic, which on this case, I ended up putting it right here just because uh, after I realized when I installed it that if I don't add a mic external, it tries to use this little mic right here and no one can hear me when they call in and I have Apple Play connected or Android Auto connected. And the only way to get around that is to either put that mic that it comes with right here or overhead or connect it to the factory mic, which is up here. Connecting it to the factory mic requires a little bit of a hacking or actually just connecting power to that thing, connecting the signal and then using a resistor. So on today's video, we're gonna go ahead and try to connect that and make it kind of plug and play and OEM as possible as far as the connection to this thing. If you watch one of my previous videos on installing this thing, I show you actually how to install this onto the 2014 Avalon. Uh, so on today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and just take all this thing off without really showing you how all this comes apart because I figure if you are in this step or you're looking into this, you're already installing one of these. You just wanna figure out the whole mic situation. So I picked up this harness from AliExpress. They sell these things for like seven or eight bucks but it's basically just a straight through jumper harness for the most part. So we can do this mic upgrade. You could pick these up on AliExpress or even on Amazon. It's gonna be probably 20 or $30 on Amazon, but AliExpress, you get it for anywhere from eight to $10 or less. I chose the cheapest option because this one was actually designed for Lexus vehicles to put an input in. So the wiring is a little bit different. So I might have to go ahead and redo some of this wiring for the Avalon because this one actually takes advantage of the video inputs that go onto this harness but the Avalon uses actually a different video input it's a separate plug for the video input uh, into the monitor similar to the Sienna also on the Lexus vehicles all of it goes through here and it plugs through here so this thing basically what it was designed to do was intercept the reverse signal using this cable right here to activate it and then you could get your own input into there so, all right, if you have a similar situation like this where you have to pull this thing out, the easiest way is to have one of these pick kits. I bought these on Amazon, but you basically just go find the right key that fits into the slot, plug it into the, sl slide it into the little hole on the inside here, and then just kind of press it, and it lets you pull the pin right through. So you kind of do that for all the pins you want to pull out. So I pretty much pulled out all the wires for that auxiliary video and audio input stuff that's not really needed on the Avalon. So what I'm gonna do now is verify that all the pass-throughs I have in here are the ones I actually need for the Avalon because Avalon doesn't use a lot of these inputs on here, like some of the older Toyotas. What I'm gonna use the rest of these for is some of these to make the new connections to the mic. I might end up cutting and using these versus trying to cut up the white ones over here. So we'll go ahead and study the diagram and the pinout and the wires I need because I'm gonna need basically three grounds, a mic signal, and then a USB five volts to get the power to the mic. So basically five wires to get this thing to work. So all the different forums I read online about using the OEM mic, they suggested using up to a 100K resistor in line with the positive of the mic. So I've got everything back on this harness right here done correctly and I've got all the wires ready. So what I need to do now is go ahead and take the Android unit out of the car, match up the wires. So I'm gonna need the two power, the plus five volts and the ground to power the mic and then I'm gonna have to connect the two signal wires I'll post all these on the screen so you can see so pretty much for the Avalon I went ahead and set up this table based on all the connections that we need and what we need for this setup in addition over here I've got the 
actual pinouts while you're looking at it. So if you're doing this at home or you're making your own jumper harness, you can see all the wires and the pins that you need to do. And then over here is looking at from the back side. So from the back side, that's the numbering and the order. So just make sure you have all of that as well as the orientation for your harness to make the same connections. But on the Android, we're gonna have to use the mic input as well as the five volts from one of the USBs to connect to our harness so we can make it as clean as possible. If you're not concerned about making it clean and kind of whatever, you can go ahead and connect the signal on here, the positive and negative on the signal to just a standard uh, three and a half millimeter plug-in. So you just plug and play that. Same with the USB. Some people just don't even bother trying to make it clean. They'll just connect this to a USB-A plug and then just plug it into one of the spare USBs on the back of the Android. So for my particular Android unit, which is this one right here, your Android unit might be a little bit different as far as wiring. So you're gonna have to figure it out. So I had a separate harness on there that has the mic plug right here. Like I said earlier, you can make it easy by just making that as a three and a half millimeter plug and then just plugging it directly into here. But for me instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just solder into these wires right here and heat shrink it from that side and just kind of leave that jack alone. Same with the USB. So on mine, this one is actually the plug that goes and connects and interfaces with the OEM USB on the car right now. It also has another output for USB. That's two of them that's all tucked in there. I've got that all kind of taped and tucked away on the console already. So I didn't want to pull that one. So I'm just going to use this one and then connect to the red and black on here for power. So as far as getting these things out for the actual soldering, I used that same pin and I just stuck it into there and you can pull it straight out so you can pull it out there. Just make sure you take a picture of the pin orientation so you know the way it goes back in. So I can take that out and then now I can just splice it and do the heat shrink and then put it all back together. So we went ahead and got this thing all done, everything put back in. So we'll go ahead and plug this back into the radio and we'll test it out before we finalize the install back in the car to make sure uh, the voice is clear and everybody can hear it through the mic. All right, got everything hooked up. I went ahead and put the jumper right into the radio. Those two right there for the Android radio. We'll go ahead and make the connections in the car and test this baby out. I got everything back together, made all the connections, and then made some test calls with it to my wife. And she said everything sounded normal as far as the mic goes, nothing too loud or too dim. So that sounds like it worked. Hopefully, once I put it all into action and on the road with the vehicle on, everything works good. But this is how you solve the problem of using your OEM mic with these aftermarket Android Auto radios. It's pretty much going to be the same for any vehicle that uses an OEM mic. You got to make those connections and put that resistor in line. Luckily for Toyota, we could get this jumper, but pretty much any vehicle, you could probably get a jumper like this uh, or something that you can use. But anyways, if you guys found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to your channel, go ahead and subscribe to your channel. Turn on bell notifications to get notified every time I upload a video. For all these different projects, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.